Hey everyone, it's me, Kimberly Clark, and welcome to another episode of uh, What Happened to Your Face? This is my series in which I wear a look for the night and I come home and I show you what happened to it. Tonight I hosted karaoke over at Good Friends Bar. It's my new regular gig here in New Orleans. Yes, I'm a karaoke bar queen. If you're in town, come by. Tuesday nights I'm at Good Friends Bar. It's on Dauphine and St. Anne's in New Orleans. Come on by. I actually have been wearing this look for quite a while. I started painting my face at around 4. It's um, 10 to 1 in the morning right now, so that means it's about 7 hours of wear. I tried to film some videos before leaving the house today, but kind of got behind and didn't really get anything done. Anyway, but so this is my video with this look. It's the only one you're gonna see, so there you go. I don't want to go over everything that I'm wearing on my face, but I think there's some important kind of factors. First, I want to say I think I solved the kind of lip my lip sweat thing. So if you don't know, my foundation is Krylon TV Paint Stick, which is a theatrical foundation. Hold on, let me grab it. It's like kind of a drag queen staple. It comes in like a, a stick like this, but it's just so perfect. It's full coverage. It's super thick. It's amazing. This is not natural. A lot of people ask me, you know, if they, this would work for them you'll look like me. But it does wear pretty well, uh, and my primers, I use the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector and the Lorac Porefection. You know, I found that those are really helpful for making my makeup last. But you've seen, in like, I think in a couple Get Ready With Me's actually, I've had this kind of like lip sweat problem when I'm doing my makeup. I get like an upper lip sweat, and because I have a mustache, I have facial hair, I kind of like feel like there's some texture and like my makeup starts to kind of break down as I'm applying it when I'm sweating. Normally if I just like apply my powder, it's not enough, it kind of still shows through. But today, instead of just applying my setting powder, which is a combo of the NARS Soft Velvet Loose Powder in the shade Snow and the Cody Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage Powder, instead of just using these, I also used this MAC uh, Studio Fix, which is just their powder full coverage foundation. And this is in the shade N4. Basically, it's just way more opaque than either of those powders. And I applied it with just like a big fluffy brush. And as I was set, you know, I used it to set my upper lip area and I stretched my lip like that as I was doing it and really got the full coverage, the, this Studio Fix in there. And I think because it's so pigmented and so full coverage, it really just like helps put my upper lip sweat at bay, I guess one could say. I feel like any medium to high coverage powder foundation would work great with this technique. It's a very Patrick Starr thing to do, I think. Hey girl, I don't know if you ever watch my videos, but who knows. But I've, I've seen him do like, you know, set with like full coverage foundation, which I think is just like extra, extra coverage. And it really does work, especially when you have sweat makeup breakdown situation. Anyway, just a little tip. I'm happy with it. I think it's great. On the cheeks, I just want to give a shout out to this blush. It's the Milani Rose Powder Blush in the shade Coral Cove. Girl, this is, I talk about this in my Le Blush Key video, in my like the blush tag. It's just the most easy to use everyday color for me. And it is just like a perfect coral. Ooh, it matches my backdrop, hey. But this is just a very natural, bright color for my skin tone. I just think it's fabulous. It's like the perfect amount of pigment, very easy to use, easy to blend, love this. Milani Rose Powder Blush in the shade Coral Cove, fabulous. For highlight today, I'm wearing Kat Von D's Thunderstruck. I wore this the last couple times I've done my makeup, actually. It's a rediscovery. I've loved this highlighter. I've talked about this in my All About Highlighters video, I'm pretty sure. It is a fabulous, it's one of her Metal Crush eyeshadows, but it just goes to show you that highlighters are basically just big eyeshadows. Like, you can use any eyeshadow you want to highlight with. If it suits your skin tone, if it's the right undertone and whatnot, go for it. You need to spend a ton of money on a fancy highlighter, just get a good eyeshadow that is shimmery and will work. Anyway, I love this eyeshadow for a highlight because it's hard to, I mean, I, I don't know how well it's worn or how much you can distinguish it from just my natural shine that I've accumulated over the seven hours of wearing this makeup look without touching up, by the way. 
at all. Didn't touch up at all, not even the lips, which we'll talk about in a second. But I really do love the undertone of this. It's like a beautiful kind of golden pinkish undertone, I would say. It's just really stunning and it's so smooth and easy to use. I love this highlight, it's fabulous. For the eyes, you know, my crease, same old, same old Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. Uh, for the base, I use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk, just a white eye pencil. And then I packed over it this white Lunatic Cosmetic Labs powder from their contour palette. And then I added like a pop of shimmer to the inner corner. Now, for my inner corner today, I'm using a fabulous pressed pigment from Coffee Break with Danny's collaboration with Itzy. I love you, Danny. You know I love you. And this is a fabulous brand. It's an indie brand from San Francisco. They're fabulous. They make, you know, basically it's like make your own palette type company. It's a beautiful magnetic palette. But this is the shade. It's the shade Determined. But it's just the most perfect, beautiful, gold, shimmery shade. And the undertone of this is so perfect. It's super neutral. It's not very warm. It's not a very yellowy gold. And it's not a very green gold. It's like very neutral. It's perfect. It can not only work with many skin tones, but it also works with many eye looks. So I'm kind of wearing like a very neutral, it's pretty neutral. It's a pretty neutral eye. I think it's just so beautiful and it really complements the blonde. I have an entire video review of these pigments. I love them. It was a limited edition collection. I don't know if you can still get it. If you can, you should get it. It's for fabulous pressed pigments that require a special way of application. Um, you can't just use these like an eyeshadow. You have to apply them like a pigment, like a loose pigment, but they're pressed for convenience. But I gotta say, I think these are maybe my favorite like pigment foiling thing. You basically foil them. So you have to put them on a brush, wet the brush, and pack it on. Just in terms of long wear, this is, I've worn this gold shade. This is the shade Determined from her quad that she has. I've worn this a couple times and the staying power of this is unprecedented. I don't know of any other loose pigment or foiled eyeshadow that lasts as long as these. I've just not experienced it. I love it. There's no creasing. It's in the inner corner, which is a place where, you know, it's not the most mobile part of my lid, but I packed on, I foiled a pigment on there and she is still fine. I'm just like, I'm dead. I love it. I just want more of these. So Itzy, I want you to make more of this formula, this foiling pigment, because I think it's truly unique. It's not like the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow formula. It's, uh, there's less emollient materials in here. It's less, like, smooth, so you do need to wet it to apply it. But I think it works better than those. I've had my ups and downs with Makeup Geek. I'm still trying. I love that brand. I think Marlene is amazing, and I would really love to, like, find some products of theirs that really work for me. I haven't found them yet, just saying. But I love the Itzy, Itzy foiling pigments and they're what I'm wearing on my inner corner and all along my lower lash line today. Finally, for lips. Okay, so I one of my videos that I was planning on filming today was a NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil Collection video overview, review, haul situation. I recently got some new shades from the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I think they were from this Prince-themed collection that was recent. All of the names have like Prince, their Prince songs and stuff. I'm actually wearing a combination of an old shade that I've had and a new shade. Now, if you haven't, if you haven't watched a lot of my videos, you might not know that my favorite matte lip formula of anything, liquid lipstick, traditional lipstick, whatever, is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I just think they're the most comfortable. The comfort long wear ratio is very good. They're not as crazy long wearing as some liquid lipsticks, but they are more long wearing than like a traditional lipstick. And the comfort level is absurd. It's more comfortable than like a freaking bullet lipstick. Like they're so comfortable and they're basically just giant lip pencils. Whatever they've done with this formula, it's phenomenal. Sort of. If you watched my All About Matte Lip video, you know that I talk about this formula in that video, and I talk about how certain shades are my favorite all-time matte lip best ever. But other shades are kind of meh. Like some of the lighter shades and peachy or pinky shades are harder. They're just not as opaque, not as smooth. Like I said, I'm wearing one old shade and one new shade. And one of them is like kind of a peachy pink shade. On the outer part of my lip, I'm wearing Valkyrie. It's this like beautiful kind of like nude. 
It looks like uh, like a Marsala color, which was the Pantone color of the year uh, two years ago, I think. It's just that like beautiful traditional like Lolita, like Kat Von D's Lolita, like that beautiful like rusty nude shade. And then in the center of the lip, I'm wearing Get Off, which is uh, from that Prince collection. And it's just a beautiful, I think this is, they call it like muted salmon, but it's like a, you know, kind of peachy shade. Anyway, I'm kind of wearing those as like a little ombre. I did have to go in with this NYX lip liner in the shade Deep Red on the outer part just because I could not get these to kind of build up to the opacity that I wanted over my stubble edges of my lips. If you're a drag queen or you shave your face and you overline your lips, you know that those edges are really difficult to get smooth because you have texture because of stubble. And I really just could not, I tried to use a lip brush, I just could not get this one shade Valkyrie to really make a clean line, so I had to go in with this deep red shade, which I think actually helped create a little bit more dimension anyway, so there you go. This shade Get Off, the kind of like uh, salmon-y color, I'd say it does a little better than some of the lighter shades that do poorly in this line, but it's not epic. It's not as good as Valkyrie or Cruella or like Tran Blue, like one of those really deep shades that they have. It's not as good as one of those, but it's not bad. It's not terrible. And for like a light peachy salmony shade, I think it's just general. It's generally good. But I just want to say, look how good this lip has worn. Like I. I've done zero touch-ups to it. Granted, it's very nude, it's very similar to my lip color, so it's hard to see how it's completely worn, but I think this is done really well. Every single time I've worn a NARS Velvet Matte Lip out, I've been satisfied with the results. I've never been disappointed with them. I think they're great. What's more, the comfort level is insane. They're just so comfortable. It doesn't feel like, I mean, I'm getting a little bit of like the crustiness on the inside, it's just, they're just so, it's so smooth and luxurious and lovely and they're just so good. Love it. Anyway. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Sorry, the last thing I wanted to talk about is, uh... This, Scandinavia. So uh, you know that, so I have a whole video that, uh, this is a, a, this is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray Oil Control Formula. I have an entire video comparing this to Blue Marble, which is like my holy grail setting spray, which I love. And it didn't completely live up to the blue marble. But I gotta say, the way I used this today was not only to set my entire face, but also to layer. I did a layer of this after my foundation before I put on like contour and stuff. Like I set my foundation with powder and then I applied a layer of this. And I've done that with this, with the blue marble before too. Please watch that entire video to like see a comparison with these. I'll link it below. But the thing with blue marble that makes it a little tricky is that it really creates like a solid like hairspray layer that ends up potentially flaking off if it wears. It's really good for like using as a base and then layering makeup on top, but there's something about this that's just so smooth. Does it make your makeup last as long in terms of shine reduction? I don't think so. I think blue marble actually is better for that. That. But in terms of like smooth layering, like keeping everything together and smooth as you go, I've kind of been into this. Not to mention every drag queen I know down here lives for this. So maybe as the summer comes around, I'll go back and forth between these and let you know how in this climate with the humidity and whatnot, Blue Marble and Scandinavia, uh, how, they, how they do. We'll have a little rematch maybe and we'll see. That was what happened to my face. Please uh, check out my other videos. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. And I want to give a huge thank you to all my Patreon patrons. Uh, you're the reason that these videos happen. If you want to support me and the work that I do on this channel, not only my makeup videos, but also my Listen Up series, which is, I think, really important, please consider making a per video donation to me via Patreon. It's super easy to do. All the info is down below. And if you give $3 or more per video, you get to watch all my videos the night before, or a couple hours, or a day before everybody else. So you get a little bonus, too. There's other bonuses, too, but that's the, the kind of main one. And thanks for all 50 plus thousand of you already subscribed. I can't believe I've hit 50,000 subscribers. I don't know if I've talked about it in other videos. Uh, I feel like my 
schedule is totally crazy like the chronology of my videos is totally nuts because of what it requires for me to get into makeup and to film and anyway I'm trying to prioritize videos not chronologically but like kind of more content wise so Thank you all for bearing with me and for being here and for, you know, understanding my kind of fantastical timeline of these videos. But thank you so much, all of you, for subscribing. This is truly remarkable. I feel like getting to 100,000 is, like, possible now. I had this, like, crazy idea that, like, by the end of 2017, I'll have 100,000 subscribers. And I was like, just set your goals high, like, even if they're crazy. Um, I think I've, I think it might happen. I think it can actually happen. Anyway, um, I also want to just give a huge shout out to anyone that's written an article about me and mentioned me. Man, I am just flabbergasted with that stuff. That's just true. Like, I'm, I'm so excited that I've been able to, like, help start a movement or fan the flames of an already existent trend of anti-consumerism and smart consumerism in the world. And... I'm just super thrilled to be able to be a part of it. And so thank you to everyone that's, you know, supported me in that way by publicizing what I do. So thank you, thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I think that's it. I think that's all, I think that's all I'm going to say. Okay, I'm going to go eat my cold Thai food now. I'm Kimberly Clark. Bye. Oh, my voice. Girl. Girl, if you ever see me sing karaoke, you know that I go hard. I go hard. And I go hard at my night at karaoke. So please. Good friends. New Orleans. Every Tuesday. <laughs>